Hey y'all, it's Steffi and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another video in my series called On the Job with Steffi. This series is basically where I share tips and tricks just like I would with my coworkers in real life. Today I'm gonna to be sharing some of my favorite keyboard shortcuts that I use in Excel and in Windows. Now I've already done another Excel video where I talk about basic formulas and functions. So I will link that over here in the cards for y'all in case you haven't seen that yet. There are a lot more shortcuts cuts that I can definitely share more in the future if you guys would like that. I have added timestamps in the description box below for the various types of shortcuts that I'll be sharing. Some of them are a little bit more basic so hopefully it'll be helpful for new people in Excel to people who have been using Excel for a while. First keyboard shortcut that I want to share with y'all you can actually do within the Excel program itself or mostly anywhere within Windows is copying and pasting. Let's say I wanted to copy the description cell. Now the long way that you could do it, you could go over here, press copy, and then go to the cell that you wanna go and paste it and press paste. It doesn't take a whole lot of time, but there's a much easier, simpler, efficient way to do this. Side note, let's say I wanna undo this, like I don't wanna have this here anymore. You could go and press an undo button which is one of these. So if I pressed undo, you know, it removes that. However, I'm gonna press the redo button. If you wanna do it quicker, using a shortcut, press Control Z on your keyboard, and you can press Control Z as much as you want to go back for the most part. When you see this like squiggly green line here, that means that is a cell that is being copied at the moment. Let's say you don't wanna copy that cell, if you press the escape button, it unselects that particular cell from being copied over. So the shortcut for copying is you press Control C on the particular cell that you want. You can do it on multiple cells if you like, but for the sake of this example, we're just doing one. Go to where you wanna be here at the, let's say you wanna do it here at G. Another keyboard shortcut here to make it faster is you could press the Control arrow to the right button it takes you to the next cell that has some kind of text or writing in it. Press it again and then to the right. Control C was your shortcut to copy. Control V is a shortcut to paste. So there you go, you have a pasted text. And like I said, you can do this within Excel. You can also do this anywhere within Windows. Let's say for some reason you want to move over here to G. I'm here on the description. I want to move this entire description one over, right? So I'm going to press Control, Shift, and the down button, arrow button. That is going to select everything that is filled with text in this particular column. As you can see there, I want to move this entire text over to column G. So I'm going to press Control X, then I'm going to move over to column G, and then I'm going to press Control V to paste it. So as you can see, it moved the entire selection from column B to column G. So that is your basic copy and paste or cut, otherwise known as move and paste, keyboard shortcuts in Excel and in Windows. To add on to the copying and pasting, the next thing that I'm gonna share with you is only in Excel. Before we do that, let's first format some text. Let's say you want this top row to be all bold. The way that I selected it is I pressed shift and then I press the right arrow button and I keep pressing the right arrow button while holding down shift and that selects everything and you can tell because it's shaded in like this. Instead of having to go up here to the font pressing B, I, U, which is bold, italic, and underline, you can press control B, which bolds the text, as you can see there. Let's say I wanna have it italics, also known as slanted. Press Control I. And then let's say maybe I also want it to be underlined for whatever reason. Press Control U. And then, as you can see, it underlines, bolds, and makes italics of this top row. So this next example is copying and pasting with certain special formatting that you want. 
I'm just adding on to this example here. So let's say I want the debit and the credit to have the same type of formatting. So I want it to be red, bold. So instead of having to do all those things separately to these two texts here, instead I'm going to go control C. So I'm gonna copy this and all I want is the formatting. So I'm over here, I selected both of these. Now what you're gonna do is press Alt E S and then as you can see, it's saying paste special. So they're asking, what all is it that you're wanting to paste? You could paste all, which would be everything. So let me show you what that would look like. It would see, as you can see, it changed everything to description, all that other stuff. And I don't want that. I'm gonna press control Z again. So let's do it again, alt E S. It's now asking you, do you want to paste every single thing from the original cell? Do you just want the formulas? the values, which is just the word description. Do you want format, meaning how the text looks? So do I want it bold and red and all the other stuff? Yes, that's what I want in this particular example. Also it's asking for comments and whatnot. So anyways, and next when I press enter, as you can see, it now has changed the text that was in here to be formatted the exact same as over here. So that was Alt E S T for formatting. Let's say all you want is this particular number, but when you look up here in the formula bar, it's actually pulling from a couple of different cells. By pressing the F2 button, it'll show you exactly what cells it's pulling from. Just as a side note, that was F2. Let's say I want to just have the 23.36 and not the formula. So again, here you do Control C, press Alt, E, S, and V. So it's just going to copy over the 23.36. If you look at the cell that it originally came from, that one is pulling from a formula. Let's say instead of pasting the value, if you just did Control C and then Control V, as you can see, it didn't give you the numbers. It actually moved that entire formula over which if you wanna learn more about formulas and that type of stuff, go look at my first Excel video that I did. It may make more sense to you there, or I can do another video in the future. One neat thing in Excel is that you can leave little comments, you know, maybe reminders, or the way that I use it at work is if I am reviewing someone's document, I will leave my comments in a note. So if you press this tab up here, review, press new note, and you know, write, your note. So that's one way you could create a note. I'm going to press show all notes. That's one way to create a note. A faster way to do it is to press shift and F2 together. And as you can see, that just creates the note right there. Let's say you want to copy this note and put it on this number as well. Instead of having to create a whole new note for here, what you could do is copy that cell, press control down button. It'll go to the next cell that has text in it. So right there, I'm gonna press Alt E S to open up the paste special value. And then I'm gonna press C. So it's going to copy just that comment. So as you can see, it didn't change anything else. All it did was copy over the note. Oh, another thing that's very important that I do a lot is to make sure you save your work often you never know when Excel will decide to just crap out on you. So instead of going up here and pressing the save button, press control S. And that is a shortcut for save. Let's say you wanna go and take this particular row and instead of it being a row, you want it to be going down in a column. Now that function is what we call transpose. So to do that, of course, you press control C, which is copying those headers and you're going to press alt e s and then you can press here so you see transpose e and whenever you see this like underline that's telling you okay press that particular key on your keyboard and it'll select that so if you want to transpose you press e and then let's say i just want the value so just the description i don't want the formatting so i'm also going to press v so it's gonna transpose only the values and not the formatting. So press enter, and as you can see, it now put what was in the row as a column, and then just for an example's sake, 
it only shows the text and no other formatting or anything like that. Let's say for some reason I need to send these transactions to someone, but I don't wanna go through and have to like delete all the other stuff out. A very fast and easy way to copy only what is visible. I'm pressing Control, Shift, and the right button to select everything in that particular row. I'm pressing Control, Shift, and then the down button, which copies everything that has text in it. I'm pressing the control button. If you want to switch from tab to tab without having to actually go down here and click different tabs, press control page down, which will move you to the right. If you wanna to go to the left, you press control page up, and that'll move you from tab to tab. That works in Excel, but if you wanna switch from one window to another in your actual computer versus having to you know, use your mouse and click from one thing to another, hold on, my mouse is being crazy. Instead of having to click, you know, use your mouse to click from here to, you know, PowerPoint or whatever. Instead, you can press the Alt key and then the tab and you can navigate that way. So let's say I was in Excel, but I wanted to go to PowerPoint. So Alt tab, let's say I wanna open up my calculator, I'm pressing Alt tab and just tabbing over but you have to have the Alt button held down the entire time. So I'm still holding Alt, and then you just press the tab to get where you wanna go. And that's how you can get around in Windows. So we're taking what we've copied over, Control page down to get onto a fresh tab. So if you only wanna see the visible cells, press the F5 button. And here it says Special. Press on the Special, and then here, you can go and just say visible cells only, press Y. Press OK or press the enter button. And so it's not gonna automatically move it over there, so you have to go in and just press enter or press control V. But typically if you just press enter, as you can see, it'll go in and copy over only those cells that were visible. In like Office 365, it definitely does it on its own. If you were just to copy that text and then you just did a regular pasting, it will only show the visible cells. In older versions of Excel, this was what I would do. So if you're working off of like an older Excel version for some reason, that's definitely something that was very helpful for me. Let's say I wanted to copy Dallas to the cell below. Instead of having to type out Dallas, what you can actually do, if you are in the cell below and you just wanna copy the text above you, press Control D and it brings the text that's right above it down into the current cell that you're in. So that is a lot easier versus having to type in Dallas every single time. Now let's say you wanted to put Dallas in all of these empty cells. So I press Control down to go all the way to the bottom there control up so you can see where I'm going. Now it doesn't work here. If you wanted to put Dallas in all of these empty cells, you can't select these empty cells and press control D, it doesn't work. So what you have to do is have the text that you want, then press shift control down. And I don't want it to fill that Boston. So I'm gonna stop holding control and just press shift and up. So it's now selected all of the empty cells. If you press Control D, as you can see, it populates all of that with Dallas. This also works with Control R. It'll populate in that cell anything that's to the left of it. As you can see there, those are the only two. So if you press Control U, that's underlining. If you press Control L to the left, you would think that it'd be similar, but it's not, it does a table. Another keyboard shortcut is let's say I'm at the very top of this particular tab and I wanna to go to the very bottom. Instead of having to scroll, which you know takes a lot of time, instead press Control End and it'll take you to the very end of that tab. Same thing with, let's say that you're down here and you're like, oh, I wanna go all the way back up to the top, press Control Home and it'll take you all the way to the top. For some reason, you might wanna copy everything that's in this particular tab and move it to another tab. If you wanna select all, which is also a function you can use throughout Windows, press Control A and it'll select everything that's in those particular cells and columns. Instead of having to you know, take your mouse 
and go like this and drag it down. If you have a lot of data, that's very time consuming and long. Instead of doing that, I just press Control Home to go to the very top, press Control A, or you could press Control Shift to the right. It grabs everything that has text in it, then Control Shift down, and that also grabs everything that has text in it all the way down to the very end. That's another way of getting around in Excel very, very quickly and efficiently. So the last thing I wanna share with you guys is if you're using this like in business or accounting, um, this is something that was very helpful for me. When I'm at work, typically there are very large Excel files that I'm looking at, and you know the different tabs could be linking or taking numbers from other tabs within the workbook. And it can be very, very long at times. There could be 10 or so tabs. If I want to trace back where a number or something is coming from within the Excel file, it's saying, oh, I made this payment of $1,000. And I say, oh, I wanna know what makes up that $1,000. Where is this particular number coming from? In the formula bar, you can see it's saying detail one is the tab and then E4 is the cell. Instead of having to go and remember, okay, detail one, E4, let me go here, E4, okay, where are you? Oh, you're right here. Instead of having to do that, go to sheet one. Instead, you're gonna press the control and then the bracket. So I'm gonna show it here on the screen. I don't know how to describe it, but it's one of the brackets. So press control in the left bracket button and as you can see, it takes you all the way back to where it is pulling from. A very easy way to get around in Excel, especially if something is not linked, like hyperlinked, which I can talk about more in a future video. All right, y'all, so those are just some of my favorite keyboard shortcuts that I use within Excel and Windows. I hope this video was helpful. Hopefully you learned maybe a new shortcut or two through this video. If it was helpful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to be a part of our study fam because we would love to have you, and I'll talk to y'all in my next video. Just like I, uh, other video. Okay, anyways, okay sharing my did I answer all your questions about keyboard shortcuts oh my heavens cranky is someone cranky oh my heavens oh my heavens someone's cranky hi baby